All right, the Hampton Road Show is trying to help you organize your life. That's why we have Amy Volk with Simplified Living. She's here to help us manage our space, including your hard-earned wine collection. Yeah. Which... You got it all together here. You know, there's a lot of information online about if you're a wine collector and you have mm -hmm. these big collections or a wine cellar. But I really wanted the average homeowner to, you know, put together a wine bar right. in their home. And I love this little piece of furniture um, behind us because that would be a perfect little wine bar that yeah. you could have um, in your kitchen or dining mm -hmm. room. Um, and, and so um, everything I show you here. You know, think of a, in there. yeah, think of a okay. little piece of furniture or an area in your kitchen. Like my, I, I did a little setup in my kitchen with just some my cupboards, and mm -hmm. then you could even slip a little fridge, a little wine fridge under there as well. Oh, but okay. let's look at some of the pieces. Okay. So, just using a small tray like this, mm -hmm. you can arrange all your wine glasses. You know, there's um, wine glasses for every different kind of wine now, mm -hmm. and you can go out there and research. But these are just some Chardonnay glasses lined up here, okay. and so it makes it look really pretty. It Have does. your wine glasses lined up, and then use small containers. For your wine accessories so if we look I at like here you know this. down here we have some um, napkins and then we have our wine stoppers and aren't those cute <laughs> wine goes with everything i wear it does <laughs> <laughs> i like that and all of your little wine accessories including okay. your wine charms these wine charms are really fun I was like what is that those are so cute so you know you have a group of girlfriends or yeah. a dinner party and uh, you're all drinking wine so in order not to Mix, mix up. glasses, you know, you pick which, like these are high heels, so you pick which high heel you want to be that it. night, and you put it at the bottom of Normally your glasses. Normally it's like, I had the red lipstick, you had the pink. Exactly. <laughs> That's your glass. There's a lot of fun <laughs> of, of these little charms out That's there. Cute. So Those just hang on. They, they just go, have, oh, they the go around the, the bottom of the base. Yeah, okay. and so you're like, okay, I'm the green and red high heel. Oh, That's my glass. Fun. Then I always know that. Okay. You know, not to mix it up. So all of your little wine accessories, you can just use small containers for. Okay. If you're going to use drawers, then, then just get some flat drawer containers and mm -hmm. separate out things like that. Now this is a very simple wine bottle holder. Right. You know, a lot of people kind of tend to have that on their right on the counter in the kitchen. Exactly. And that's totally fine. You, um, they're made so that the wine goes towards the corks. You want them to tilt down so the corks don't dry out. And there's all kinds of recommendations online. I recommend that you do that. Go online and see how do I, what's the best way to store my wine. Mm -hmm. But one thing I recommend is just you might have a couple of these for one is all your white wines. Okay. Or you might categorize it by sweet wines mm -hmm. or the origin. These are all Italian wines. Then another one is all my red wines. So just depending on your space, if you're mm -hmm. going to use a little piece of furniture, you might just have room for one or two of these. And I have a question. Like for, is this for more for show because like I've had wine open and once it sets in, even though it has to be tilting forward right. to the cork, sometimes it starts to drip out. Or so that, it's not in tight enough? So or? these are meant, like if, if you were going to have this on your counter and you mm -hmm. had six bottles of wine, they're meant to be uh, drank within a year. Okay. You don't want to store these for more than a year. Otherwise, they, um, without being temperature controlled, um, mm -hmm. They and they're they're UV sensitive. Wine is also UV sensitive. Okay, you, it will start to destroy the wine. Gotcha. So really, this is like if I'm going to drink these six bottles, you know, within a few months mm -hmm. or have a dinner party. Right. So they are functional, but some people use them for displays as well. Okay. Yeah, I know. I said a lot of people have them. You go over there like, oh, yeah, it's all nasty that, when yeah. they open that bottle because it's been there. I'm just going to have a glass of water. I'm good. Exactly. I'm good. <laughs> so, but these are great, especially if you live in a, an apartment or a small yeah. space. You can still make a little wine bar for yourself. This is a fun little. Um, if you're not familiar with wine, and, and I'm learning about wine, mm -hmm. it's a little do-it-yourself uh, tasting guide. And so it would be fun to have your little wine bar oh. and then do a little dinner party and pull out uh, those different kinds of cards. Now, this last thing goes under a counter. It mounts like this. The glasses. And you hang your glasses. Something I found online that was really fun is someone said take a small uh, vintage hand rake and you hang it. And the, the tongs that come out from it, actually, you can hang the glasses from as well. So you can be creative. Really? But this is just a store-bought one from okay. Pier 1. Hangs under any counter. This would be great in an apartment mm -hmm. as well. Because they're in with like the mugs and then they can just break. And, and that helps you then categorize, like you can have Chardonnay glasses, then you can have Merlot glasses yes. or a red wine glass collection in that, in that way. Um, so figure out your space mm -hmm. and then you can figure out what paraphernalia you're going to have, how much wine do you drink, and... And your you're collection, good to go. your home well, wine bar. Come to Amy's because yeah. you are ready to go. I'm ready. Set up. Over. <laughs> all right. Well, to get in touch with Amy, of course, we're going to link all of her information on our website. That is thehamptonroadshow.com. Amy, thanks again. You're welcome.